to all DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub drivers. Look at this shit right here. I got two con- contract violations saying that they never got their food, which is a damn blatant lie. First of all, I hardly ever take a ride for three damn dollars, and especially in the hood. And I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm telling you, there are some lying, thieving hood boogers in the neighborhood. Not all, but when I seen that name Trayvon and the rap was on, what happened was they sent me um they sent me a delivery, and I didn't know it was two because sometimes um. DoorDash will get slick, and they'll send you the ride, not telling you that it's actually two deliveries. Sometimes they, they'll send you a ride and then send you another ride, but then they'll sneak them, um, them stack on rides in. So when I seen the order from Wingstop, I seen that his little order was only three dollars. It was the other order that I had to pick up from Bob Evans that you know paid. I started to cancel that three dollar order. I should have followed my first mind and canceled that damn order. This little dreadlock, yellow teeth, lying bastard contacts DoorDash and tell DoorDash that he never received his food. Not only did he get his food, I had texted him from Wingstop because um. He ordered a Sprite, but um, they didn't have Sprite. So I texted him, told him, look, I'm, I called you, got no answer. I'm texting you now. Give you a couple of seconds to text me back. If not, I'm just going to bring you the soda of my choice. When I get to his house, not only did I make a comment, I said, you know, you guys could at least, you know, tip the dollar. I don't take $3 rides. The only time I take $3 rides if the drop-off is right next door to the original ride, like if it's a stack-on. But I'm never accepting a $3 ride. I don't care if it's skippity doo dah day across the damn street. I'm not accepting that. Please be careful in these hood booger neighborhoods. And I hate to say it, but yes, it's mostly us blacks. The only people I have tried to be scammed by is black people. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't eat none of that bullshit. I don't eat Chipotle's. I don't eat Bibbidi Bops, Boobity Hoos. I don't eat none of that. I go beyond and out of my way to make sure people get their order even after after the time has ran out on the clock i kept an order well no, i won't say i kept an order but i had an order from jenny splendor ice cream this person ordered six pints of ice cream got to the drop off nobody knew who she was actually what happened was she ordered it for someone else but that's not what she had down there she just had her name so nobody knew who she was i contacted doordash i never unassigned or or um complete a delivery when i cannot find the customer without contacting doordash bottom line never after DoorDash tried to contact the customer, and I tried to contact the customer, the DoorDash said, mark it as delivered, and you know, go ahead. I'm not like that. I left those people at the drop-off address my personal phone number. The person who ordered the ice cream, I texted her my personal phone number. I took the ice cream back to Jenny Splendors, asked them to put it in the freezer, and I'll give them till the end of my shift to contact me and I'll bring them the ice cream back. Sure enough, three hours later, they contacted me. I went back to Jenny Splinter, got their ice cream and gave it to them. I didn't have to. I'll give you another um, instance. I pick up an order from uh, this Jason's Deli. The customer made a mistake and put the same the pick the drop off address same as the pickup address. I couldn't get him on the phone, couldn't text him, so I called DoorDash. After DoorDash couldn't get him on the phone, couldn't get in contact with him, they told me to mark it as delivered and move on. I said no, cause it's a lot of food. Plus I'm fat as hell. I don't need no damn food. I just got through eating me some greens, cornbread, and and fried chicken wings. Hell, I get enough food at my own damn house. I don't want to keep no food in the street. So I kept um I kept 
I did not do what they said. I kept contacting him. I left him all kind of messages, my phone number, everything. He finally called me back. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. That was my fault. He gave me the correct address. I delivered his food and completed my delivery without, um, you know, without marking it delivery. Because I want people to get their food. It's expensive to... um to order food because not only you got a markup on the food then you got the delivery then on the nights when you got the you know the bonuses you know it's a lot so I, I i don't intentionally keep anyone's food i have done as you can see i've done over 2400 rides for doordash this is the second time that i've worked for doordash so in total i've done over 5000 rides for doordash i've done over 8000 rides for uber eats I've done maybe a thousand rides for Postmates because I don't like them because they don't pay well. They want you to go too damn far and all that bull crap. But never, ever, ever accept the three dollar ride in the hood. Never. Even though, yes, there are some white people in the hood, you know, but I'd rather be safe than being sorry. I will never accept another $3 ride on top of a stack ride. I don't give a damn if it's in walking distance. If you can't tip a dollar or two, then I'm not, I'm not accepting your order. And that's all I got to say about that. But I'm mad as a I'm mad as hell because the first the first one who said he didn't get his order, not only I even sent him a text message because he, you know, they say leave the order at the door. One thing I don't do, I may leave your order at that door, but I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to open the door and get your food, especially in the hood. I will not leave anyone's order at the door in the hood until I see you open that door and take your order. That's just who I am. Now, what you do, you want to drop off the order, take your picture and leave, that's on you. But I normally drop off the order, take a picture, and I wait. I wait, you know, at least four or five minutes, I wait and to make sure that they retrieve their order. So just beware of the liars and this on time early thing. Now, mind you, I've been at 77 since I was at a hundred of uh, 1000. I'll say 1,600 rides. This 77% has never moved. And it never will move if you keep picking up from that stupid-ass Chipotle's over at 488 South High Street. You'll never get nowhere on time. Or from um, First Watch or from a few other restaurants, you will never be on time.